Well, Israel has carried out a wave of massive airstrikes across Lebanon overnight, with explosions rocking Beirut's southern suburbs, including one close to the international airport, as Israel continues its offensive against Hezbollah. Another airstrike is said to have cut off the main border crossing with Syria. The Houthi rebels in Yemen. Tonight, Hezbollah reeling from yet another blow to its leadership, confirming the death of a senior member of its group following the Israeli strikes in Beirut on Friday that killed its leader for more than three decades, Hassan Nasrallah. They have continued to take out not just senior members of Hezbollah, but also intermediate, sort of middle level. The other day they targeted a Hezbollah member of parliament. They seem to have a never-ending list of targets. You remember Ismail Haniya, who was killed in the capital of Iran. It's not simply a political assassination, but it's very cynical as an act. There was a strike on the Iranian consulate also in Syria. It seems that Hezbollah cannot sort of end the eyes on that Israel has. First of all, you called that pager attack indiscriminate. That was, without a doubt, not only the most precise attack in military history, but the most precise attack in military future. If that was really Israel, it made thousands of military communications devices supplied by a terrorist organization exclusively to its terror operatives explode in 99% of cases when they were held up against the terrorists' faces. This is proper James Bond stuff. It is the opposite of indiscriminate. It is far into science fiction levels of precision. Israel is defending itself on seven fronts against the enemies of civilization. We're fighting in Gaza against Hamas, those savages who murdered, raped, beheaded, and burned our people on October 7th. We're fighting in Lebanon against Hezbollah, the most heavily armed terror organization in the world, which was planning an even greater massacre than October 7th on our northern border, and that has rocketed Israeli towns and cities for nearly a year. We're fighting against the Houthis in Yemen and the Shiite militias in Iraq and Syria that together have launched hundreds of drones and missile attacks against Israel. We're fighting against terrorists in Judea and Samaria who are trying to murder civilians in the heart of our cities. And we're fighting against Iran, which last week fired over 200 ballistic missiles directly at Israel, and which stands behind the seven-front war against Israel. Behold, I will make a Jerusalem a cup of trembling unto all the people round about. And in that day will I make a Jerusalem a burdensome stone for all people. All that burden themselves with it shall be cut in pieces, though all the people of the earth be gathered together against it. All civilized countries should be standing firmly by Israel's side. Yet President Macron and some other Western leaders are now calling for an arms embargo against Israel. But whatever response Iran chooses, it will likely calibrate it to be just short of triggering a war it cannot win. The demands of the Arab group, and I think today we prevailed. The sun has just ejected an Earth-directed 9.0 class solar flare. This is the largest in years. This comes from Sunspot Region 3842. It has been rotating toward Earth and we just witnessed an X7 solar flare come off of the sun here two days ago. They're expecting a storm to hit our upper atmosphere here within the next 24 hours from that one. But now we've got this larger one coming right at us you can see in the image i mean it's centered perfect direct shot at earth here and this could cause an uptick in earthquake and volcanic activity as we have 11 tropical storms and 11 sunspot regions right here 3843 being the culprit of this earth facing x class solar flare this year alone 41 X-class flares have been recorded, more than in the previous nine years combined, Live Science has reported. Experts warn that heightened solar activity could disrupt power grids and satellites similar to the catastrophic Carrington event of 1859. Watch the huge bubble of extremely warm air over here in the west and that's really going to compile and become honestly like a really impressive heat wave as we go into Friday, October 11th. Some places will be nearly 40 degrees above average. That's wild. Notable earthquake here, Iran. Semnon, Iran. Bit of a curious place for an earthquake. 
The Russian embassy to the U.S. said on Saturday its current chief, Anatoly Antonov, concluded his tenure and returned to Moscow. Why is this so important? So long as there is an ambassador or some diplomatic mission inside the United States and vice versa, and I don't know what the situation is with the ambassador in uh, Russia right now, there is a prospect for peace and de-escalation. As soon as those ambassadors leave, that means that war is potentially imminent or far more likely than it previously was. Hours away uh, from this massive strike on Iran and all indications are pointing to a full-scale strike. Okay, not some kind of minor strike like last time in April. Okay, all indications are pointing to a full-scale decapitation strike on the Iranian government and on their nuclear sites. Ladies and gentlemen, we have an absolutely huge planet, comet, asteroid, or meteor headed directly into our sun. You can see that we have the X flare. You can see it enter the screen. Definitely inbound to the sun. If that or something that size hits our sun, it's going to cause the largest solar flare or explosion that we have ever seen. Russia says if you strike those oil rings, don't you forget that China and, and Russia are, are living off of Iran's oil supply. I find the timing of this incredibly suspicious considering uh, that this is somebody who would have worked with the Trump administration in the past. I find the timing suspicious, in, in, and I say that because this implies that they wanted to get out before the election for some reason. Uh, there is no reason why they couldn't extend that diplomatic mission at least up until uh, the election or the inauguration. And of course, on the day that Israel is supposed to start a major war with Iran, uh, this is doubly concerning because this could be a sign that this may indicate that uh, day X is still in play. Day X, of course, being that day when all parties understand that a kill shot, a decapitation strike, entails a counterattack. Iran, at this point, likely has some kind of launch on warning uh, style uh, counteroffensive strategy where as soon as Israel puts their birds up in the air and starts targeting Iran's locations, they are going to be compelled to unleash a massive salvo, much bigger than the last. 79 AD with Pompeii, Mount Vesuvius eruption. This is the actual planetary alignment, 79 AD. Notice the similarities of the planets all being on one side of the sun and in the same position as what is coming up. Here it is, now. And here you see the comparison. Behold the bridegroom. Christ is coming. Hear this, O ye that swallow up the needy, even to make the poor of the land to fail, saying, When will the new moon be gone, that we may sell corn? and the Sabbath that we may set forth wheat, making the ephah small and the shekel great, and falsifying the balances by deceit. Behold the bridegroom. Christ is coming. And it shall come to pass in that day, saith the Lord God, that I will cause the sun to go down at noon, and I will darken the earth in the clear day, and I will turn your feasts into mourning, and all your songs into lamentation. And I will bring up sackcloth upon all loins, and baldness upon every head. And I will make it as the morning of an only sun, and the end thereof as a bitter day. Behold, the days come, saith the Lord God, that I will send a famine in the land, not a famine of bread, nor a thirst for water, but of hearing the words of the Lord. Telling you all of us in the Arab world here, we want a peace in which Israel lives in peace and security, accepted, normalized with, with all Arab countries in the context, context of 
ending the occupation, withdrawing from Arab territory, allowing for the emergence of an uh, independent sovereign Palestinian state on June 4, 1967, lines with occupied Jerusalem as capital. We must chart a course for a two-state solution. There must be security for the Israeli people and Israel and in equal measure for the Palestinians. But when they shall say peace and safety, then sudden destruction cometh upon them as travail upon a woman with child, and they shall not escape. Then shall two be in the field. The one shall be taken, the other left. Two women shall be grinding at the mill. The one shall be taken, and the other left. Then shalt thou cause the trumpet of the Jubilee to sound on the tenth day of the seventh month. In the day of atonement shall you make the trumpet sound throughout all your land. Speak unto Aaron thy brother, that he come not at all times into the holy place within the veil before the mercy seat, that he die not. For I will appear in the cloud upon the mercy seat. But the Lord himself shall descend from heaven with a shout, with the voice of the archangel, and with the trump of God, and the dead in Christ shall rise first. Then we which are alive and remain shall be caught up together with them in the clouds to meet the Lord in the air. In that day, when I make up my jewels, and I will spare them, as a man spareth his own son that serveth him, then shall ye return, and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God, and him that serveth him not. Behold the bridegroom. Christ is coming. Something else blocked out the sun during the crucifixion. It was not the moon. It was not the moon. The moon. The moon. The moon does not block out the sun for three hours. I heard God spoke to me on October 10. There will be a big disaster. So my teacher said, "Grade four, please make a line," and that's how I know I was still in grade four. Behold, these three years I come seeking fruit on this fig tree and find none. Cut it down. It's going to cause the largest solar flare or explosion that we have ever seen. Yeah, no, I, 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 you people called me. I'm returning your, uh, uh, what do you think? There's a button, a red button. Yeah, honey. It's okay, baby. Oh, my God, just press it in with a pen or something. Oh, it's perfect. It'll start back up. Okay, I'm in the car right now. Can you make the formula? I'm going to be home and... Sam? 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 And he says, Therefore, watch and remember that by the space of three years I ceased not to warn them, night and day, with tears. Three years. Three years. It's tomorrow. The grace period's over, Tom. So we're clear. We convened a council of clerics, representatives of most world religions, who, as you know, were somewhat conflicted about October 14th, and with us unable to reach any kind of consensus, which in turn led us to the scientific community for answers. Oh, so be the girl you loved. Be the girl you loved. This document, the findings of your commission, as to the instantaneous disappearance of 2% of the world's population, some 140 million souls. So many of our loved ones were lost three years ago. And it's hard to know how to talk about them without feeling, well, we really don't know how to feel. Your conclusion as to what happened to them, why them, and where they've gone is, and, and I'm paraphrasing here, I don't know.
The best day of my life happened a few months before October 14th, but I didn't know it. Because we still wonder where they went and why. We honor them now with this remembrance, Mapleton's own October 14th memorial. I'm not asking for that perfect day at the beach. <laughs> Just give me that horrible Saturday, all four of us sick and miserable, but alive and together. Hector, would you please? Fourteenth of October. Hmm. The great vanishing, the sudden departure. When's the last time you ever really thought about it? I don't. Did you ask for my help, Kevin? Yes. This is me helping. I mean, come on. What else is there to think about? So you... You know where they went? What happened? These periods over, Tom. The Lord maketh the earth empty, and maketh it waste, and turneth it upside down, and scattereth abroad the inhabitants thereof. And it shall be, as with the people, so with the priest, as with the servant, so with his master, as with the maid, so with her mistress, as with the buyer, so with the seller, as with the lender, so with the borrower, as with the taker of usury, so with the giver of usury to him. The land shall be utterly emptied and utterly spoiled. For the Lord has spoken this word. The earth mourneth and fadeth away. The world languisheth and fadeth away. The haughty people of the earth do languish. The earth also is defiled under the inhabitants thereof, because they have transgressed the laws changed the ordinance, broken the everlasting covenant. Therefore hath the curse devoured the earth, and they that dwell therein are desolate. Therefore the inhabitants of the earth are burned, and few men left. For behold, the Lord cometh out of his place to punish the inhabitants of the earth for their iniquity. The earth also shall disclose her blood, and shall no more cover her slain. The son of perdition, who opposeth and exalteth himself above all that is called God, or that is worshipped, so that he as God sitteth in the temple of God, showing himself that he is God. In the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised incorruptible, and we shall be changed. Then shall ye return, and discern between the righteous and the wicked, between him that serveth God, and him that serveth him or not. Did they depart or did they die? What? Your children. You said you lost them. Did they depart or did they die? They departed. So many of our loved ones were lost three years ago. It's hard to know how to talk about them without feeling well, we really don't know how to feel because we still wonder where they went and why. You don't get to, to talk about something you I don't, don't believe get in. to? What do you believe in, Matt? Do you know where my family went? Do you know what it was? come from. 
come from? What do they want? You don't even know who they are. We know who they were. Please come home. Do you even remember what it feels like to care about anything? The lighter from your daughter with the engraving, please come home, Mom. It said, don't forget me. We strip away attachment, fear, and love, and hatred, and anger, until we are erased, until we are a blank slate. We know what the guilty remnant does, but what do they believe? They believe the world ended. Well, can I just tell them that I know you're okay? No, Jill, you can't. Why not? Nobody's okay. But we are, all of us, no matter what we've suffered, still alive. We still feel pain and sorrow. We still feel loss. We still feel love. And if I'm supposed to be a living reminder, it's not enough for me to stand outside of their f***ing houses staring at them until they start screaming my face. What do you face. want? What are you following us? You're everywhere! You're everywhere! Go! Why do I have to just stand there when I can put my cigarette out in their f***ing eye? It was a test. <sighs> not for what came before, but for what came after. Was a test for what comes now. Well, if it was a test, then I think you may be failing it. What happened? What happened? What the f did you people do? She's hurt. She wants in her. We are living reminders of what you try so desperately to forget. If you let me, I will help you come back. your recollection. So turn from your sin, for all this society is about to come under the justice of God. 